For the past few years, Drake has been putting out chart-topping singles and consistently making hits with Swiss producer OZ. The question is, why does Drake keep coming back to OZ's production? Long time looking for the bounce, yeah. Ozzy had to bounce it. After listening to Ozzy's biggest hits with Drake, I've noticed three main things that make up his signature sound. Unique sound selection, simplicity, and like Drake said, the bounce. Let's take a deeper look into the production techniques that Ozzy uses to make hits for Drake. If we listen to Popstar, we can hear a unique synth melody that Ozzy uses to set the foundation of this beat. Bitches. To recreate the sound, I've grabbed these synth presets from my mini stash analog lab bank, and laid down this pattern. So this clearly isn't sounding like Popstar yet. So to get there, we're gonna use a technique that Ozzy does that is signature to Drake's sound, reversing. What I've done is bounce everything into one audio file and then cut it every time the chord changes. From here, you're gonna wanna reverse each one of these audio files, and what this does is make sure your melody is playing in the same order you made it, but it gets that reverse Drake sound effect. To add a little more flavor, I added this counter melody using a reverse piano. I can already hear Drake's vocals coming in. We've got a really solid foundation here, so we wanna make sure not to add too much to this melody because a main reason that Drake picks Ozzy's beats consistently is the amount of space that he has for his vocal. So now we're gonna focus on adding subtle elements that make this melody more ear catching. So I took some inspiration from Ozzy's production on Grease where he has this simple but catchy vocal sample. Another one. Having catchy and unique elements like this in your sample can really help catch the listener's ear and is definitely another reason why Drake gravitates towards Ozzy's beats. To make something similar, I dragged in this vocal chop from the mini stash kit. And this sounds cool, but to make it more unique, I'm gonna chop this up and add some heavy effects. To tie this whole sample together, I've dragged in some accent sounds and a thick synth bass from the mini stash. Now we have a simple and unique OZ style melody, but to give Drake the energy he needs on a beat, we need to add some bouncy drums. A big part of OZ's bounce is his use of percussion. A great example of his unique percussion is on Drake's Omerta. OZ uses a variety of rims, snares, and perks that play on the offbeat to create more bounce. I've done that here in this pattern. As you can see, I'm changing which percussion sound is playing on each offbeat, and I'm also panning them left and right to add more movement to these drums. Now to add some more movement, we need to add some hi-hats. If you listen to Ozzy's biggest hits with Drake, his hi-hats are mostly a simple two-step patterns with a couple rolls here and there. Let's take Popstar for example. Hey, shorty with the long text, I don't talk. Hey, shorty with the long legs, she don't. Keeping the hi-hats simple like this may seem boring as a producer, but for an artist like Drake, it gives him more room to create flows and find pockets in the beat. So I'm gonna keep these hi-hats super simple and enhance the bounce with a couple open hats. The last thing we need to make this a hard hitting OZ type B is a knocking kick in 808. Now for the final test, let's see if a Drake vocal sounds good on this beat. Hey, shorty with the long text, I don't talk. Hey, shorty with the long legs, she don't walk. Hey, yeah, last year I kept it on the tough. Hey. 2020, I came to fuck it up, yeah. If you liked all the sounds that I used in that beat, click the link in the description to check out my $5 mini stash kit. It comes with loops, vocals, one shots, presets, drum and melody midis, and much, much more. And you're getting all of that for less than the price of a coffee. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. Make sure to click that link below and check that out. In an interview with Complex, Ozzy explained why Drake keeps using his beats. I guess I have a special sound. I'm working constantly, 
always looking to find a new wave and what's next. And on Drake's latest album, Her Loss, Ozzy shows his ability to create a new wave for Drake on the more chill and soulful track, Middle of the Ocean. Yeah. Let's get into how we can recreate that sound. The first thing that sticks out in this beat is the unique and soulful sample. The foundation for this melody is a smooth guitar progression. So I grab my guitar and lay down these simple chords. This is sounding nice, but when you listen to Middle of the Ocean, you can hear a lot more riffs and accents in the guitar. So I recorded a few more layers of guitar and added a live bass line, and this is what that sounds like. Drake is notorious for using soul samples in his music, so to enhance that authentic soul sample sound, I dragged in this drum break on top of the guitar. And now to take that sample feeling another step further, I added a Rhodes violin in the soul clavinet from the Mini Stash's Analog Lab Bank. Drake uses a ton of vocal samples in his production, and Ozzy's beat on Middle of the Ocean is no different. So to finish off our sample, I got my vocalist to lay down some silky smooth vocals to really give that signature Drake sound. Oh, 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 oh. Now this sounds cool, but to really capture that OZ and Drake sound, we need to do two things. We need to mess with the pitch and the speed of the sample, and we also need to add some filters and effects. So I sped the sample up and added some filters and effects, and this is what it sounds like. As you can tell, it's definitely less harsh when filters and effects are added. And the reason OZ does this is not only to create a unique and new wave sound, but also carve out space for Drake's vocals so it's the main focus on the song. Being able to have different sounds is super important when working with an artist as versatile as Drake. On the beat from Middle of the Ocean, we can hear a much more chill approach to the drums from OZ. Hey. Look. So let's get into how he makes these kind of drums. The first thing I'm starting with is the snare and percussion using the same techniques for bounce that I used in the first beat. Now I want to add some hi-hats to add some more energy, but to match the feeling of the sample, I'm going to make sure that these hi-hats aren't too loud so it gives off a more chill vibe. So to capture that, I dragged in some live drum loops and layered them in with the rest of the drums. So now we've definitely got a nice bounce going, but to really tie this beat together, we gotta add that hard hitting kick in 808. Before I play the finished beat, if you guys enjoyed this video so far, hit that subscribe button so I can keep making videos like this and drop any questions that you have in the comments. I'm gonna be trying to answer every single one. I love you, I love you. If you're a fan of Drake's underwater R&B sound, check out this video right here.